pointing us in the right direction. Yeah, the Kernigan's tomb. We are almost there. Effendi, Effendi, look. The entrance to the tomb. And the seals are intact. It has not been robbed. My God, you know what this means, Helmut? Yeah, my dear Henry. The first complete ancient Egyptian tomb ever found. Shoulders to the door, lads. Shoulders to the door. Great Scott! Wunderbar! Undisturbed for 2,000 years. Everything Queen never had it so good needed for the afterlife. Hmm. She certainly took a lot with her. Come along, boys. We must get this lot up to the surface and shipped off to the British Museum. What is that? This discovery of mine will be the crowning achievement of my illustrious career as an Egyptologist. What? Your discovery, Henry? Don't open to the assignment. Henry, my Lieber. You will regret denying the credit due to me in this momentous project. Really? What's he going on about? No time to chatter now. Come along. We've got to go get this lot out of here. Quick. Watch that one. Watch it. Careful. Revenge on you, Henry, for your treachery.
taken my pearls. I need it. I must have it. I can't survive in the afterworld without it. Who disturbed my rest? He'll rule the day. So, she has returned. She cannot go back to the afterlife without her purse. Sir Henry will regret disturbing her rest, I think. <laughs> but I must get rid of the purse so no one, particularly she, will suspect me of any involvement in the affair. What's going on? Why are you making such a fuss? Who needs a purse? I do. It has the loose change of the afterlife in it. I can't cross over. Who'll pay the ferry man? Stop moaning. You'll get used to it here. The hours aren't so demanding. They close at six, you know. Then we can do what we like. Within reason? Within bad digits? But it's different for me. I've been there. The afterlife, that is. You lot haven't, as all your tombs were looted, so you were left here in limbo. Aye, oh, we was robbed. You're telling me, and so was I. I've been called back to the living, and I don't like it. I must get that purse. You wouldn't know, but there's so much to pay for in the afterlife. It's got my River Island of the Dead card in it. You never know when you might need it. That's rich coming from you. You took so much stuff with you to the afterlife, they could hardly seal your tomb up. Uh oh, keep your heads down, lads. Here comes Anubis, god of the dead. It's never pleasant when he's around. Okay, Queen, never had it so good. You have three days to get that purse back so you can resume your afterlife. Or else you'll be stuck with this lot forever. But that's not fair, I don't shut up. I've got you some help. One sacred scarab beetle. One sacred baboon. <laughs> and one sacred ibis. No, an unholy asp. Good for last resorts. The scarab's good for gathering intelligence. The baboon for muscle. <laughs> and I'll stick around to hand out summary justice to anyone who has the purse. I see the mummy's curse. But would you stick out like a sore thumb in modern times? I'll be in disguise. With those ears? Careful, my queen. Your afterlife hangs in the balance. Touchy-looking dealer in ancient Egyptian antiquities. Want to buy a purse? Only one owner. I told you, sir, a special price of ten of our fine Egyptian pound notes. Why so cheap? Um, the owner uh, had death duties to me, but that's no lie. Okay, done. I know someone will pay me handsomely for such an artifact. That is good, well done, Abdul. Tell me, Abdul, by the by, did that long-eared, long-bodied dog belong to the dealer? No? And God, it was a noobie. I'm out of here! What? Ah!
dear Senorita Jenny Ambrose. I found just the fashion accessory you've been looking for. Look. Darling, hmm, a purse? Not any old purse. Scarab, who's that woman? Ah, the famous South American nightclub singer. It's Sherman. It will go nicely with my new cabaret costume. I'm going for the frayed look. Wrap it up and give it to my boy. Ciao! Good morning. My, that's a very tired face, my friend. Mr. Mohammed not well today? That's right. Can I interest you in one of his carpets? No, I know you're stuck like the back of my hand. But I insist. I think you should look at this rag more closely. But
here. Get mad. That's great. Where's the prof? In the trilby. Get him. Yes, boss. But I didn't want to go out tonight. As you see, I was just getting ready for bed. The prof! We found something we think you've lost. I can't imagine what. And you mislaid a purse? Oh no. I use a wallet. Purses are for the ladies. Oh. I see. The purse. From the tomb. This one. Oh, oh yes, how wonderful. Where did you find it? Don't worry about that. Let's just say the previous owner has no more use for it. Oh, how very kind. The exhibit will be complete again. How can I recompense you for all your trouble? Let me buy you all a drink or something. My dear prof, this purse. Is worth more than just a drink. I suggest you have a little chat with your bosses in the museum. Or this purse might have a nasty accident. And look out, boss! Good gracious me! Are you all right under there? Boss, boss! Act so as I thought. Those villains were trying to sell the purse back to Sir Henry. I'll stop their little game. Quick, grab that purse. Your boss, Madame Luce Lee, told me she needs a new one. <laughs> This is more like the afterlife, but quieter. Greetings, fine, unusually attired lady. Welcome to the drowsy dragon den of delights. What can we do for you and your aid? Two pipes? Mm, unfortunately, I have nothing to pay you with, and that is why I am here. I believe you might have found my purse. Ah, really? The rest are like that. I just thought you'd have nowhere to put it. My dear, I don't carry it myself. I have slaves to do that. I am led to believe such a purse was retrieved by one of my minions in the docks tonight. But I cannot lay my hands on it at this precise moment in time. <laughs> But my baboon seems to have done so. Ah, lovely lady. Don't think your ape will leave the building with it alive, for I will call upon my terracotta army to stop him. <laughs> Anubis, help! You called your highness? Anubis, do something. Tricky, your majesty. You see, they're dead like us. Puts us both on a level, level playing field, so to speak. Who is this woman? To the denizens of Limehouse, she is known as Madame Luce Lee, proprietor of the drowsy dragon Den of Delight. Very good, jackal head. 
but she's probably the reincarnation of the devil empress Wu of the zoo. And older than you by a thousand years. Very, very good. Unfortunately for you, what do you suggest we do, Anubis? Run. Pursue! Compartment, can't you read? So sorry, no speaking English. I'm not speaking English. Ah. Oh, okay then, don't let it happen again. No speaking English, no smacking, and no tickets. Oh, by the way, I'll be down. <laughs> Fool, head of the army, second battalion, to the dining car, attack, get that purse. <laughs> Hey, watch it, I'm so far. Sure, they shouldn't allow these rugby clubs on these trains. Take it, please, take it, please. May I hear? How soon arrive we at the airport, please? Uh, 25 minutes, sir. Thank you, sir. No time to lose, then. Madame Lee's terracotta army must get that purse of that baboon before they fly to Egypt. Ah! Your Highness? Well, two battalions of terracotta army destroyed, first safe, and we have one day to fly to Egypt and back. Your purse must be weighed on the scales of the dead before you can resume your afterlife. Curse it! Here. 
does your play? It's getting rather close. How marvelous! Right to one's very doorstep. This is more than one's doorstep. Ah, nine, nine. It's the mummy's curse. We die together, Sir Henry. done here. Queen Nefahadid so good left for Egypt on the earlier flight. Thank you, folks. 